Team 10 story about a pregnant panhandler seen getting into a Mercedes Benz continues to make headlines around the world. New tonight, an expert told Team 10 troubleshooter Kristen Severance she knows the story behind the scene that's gone viral. Kristen? Yeah, so I talked to Team 10 police sources about this woman. I also connected with a retired detective with 25 years experience through my Facebook page after posting the story. They all agree about this woman's MO and possible backstory. And that's just classically going to play the heartstrings. Leslie Albrecht saw Team 10 story on the pregnant panhandler spotted getting into a Mercedes Benz. We showed her the video when Team 10 caught up with a woman with a young boy, infant and man. What did you think immediately? Gypsies. Albrecht retired from the San Diego Police Department four months ago after 25 years of service. She spent 15 years as a detective, nine years studying the criminal side of what she calls the Rami people. We have a community that has people migrated from Romania that are phenomenal, law abiding, good citizens. Albrecht makes it clear she is not talking about them. I'm talking about the element of folks who have come originally uh, from. Romania and their Rom gypsies and proudly say they are. She's convinced the Benz beggar, man and children are a part of this subculture. How are you so sure? The MO is on the money. Uh, they absolutely follow exactly what I've seen a million times. The man used Spanish during the conversation at Vons and then used another language when talking with the woman. When he speaks directly to her. Albrecht said it sounded like Rami. And that is their native language. And that's what they'll start speaking to one another if someone's around that has an idea they might be fraudulent and then they disappear quickly. She said multiple cars are often used in their schemes. They were seen in a Mercedes the one day, a van with dealer plates the next. She said children are often used as well. And they'll use the babies uh, any way they can. The children will not go to school. Their job, their future is the family business, and the family business is scheming. Albrecht said she had to work with police departments across the state and country because these families will pick up and move in an instant. She believes that this group has most likely moved on to another area, but we continue to get tips and sightings. I'm Team 10 troubleshooter Kristen Severance.